All right, now to the president's third State of the Union address. It was Biden's biggest platform yet ahead of November's election. Biden used it to unveil his plan to take on some of the biggest issues we're dealing with in the country. Some of the hot button topics included the war between Ukraine and Russia, women's reproductive rights and inflation. 15 million new jobs in just three years. <laughs> Unemployment at 50 year lows. Wages keep going up, inflation keeps coming down. The president also scolded Republicans for not passing his bipartisan border security bill. He also announced an emergency military mission to build a port in war-stricken Gaza. It would deliver food, water, medicine, and shelter to Palestinian civilians. For the leadership of Israel, I say this. Humanitarian assistance cannot be a secondary consideration or a bargaining chip. Protecting and saving innocent lives has to be a priority. Biden also blasted former President Donald Trump without naming him for, quote, bowing down to Russian President Vladimir Putin. In the Republican response, Alabama Senator Katie Britt slammed Biden, saying he's out of touch and doesn't understand the issues facing American families. 